Thank you for being here, everyone. Uh, when we first organized this workshop, we were thinking it was an event for like 10 to 20 people. Uh, then we had 170 register, and we suddenly took it a lot more seriously. Uh, but it's great to see that there was this much appetite for the workshop. Um, so as you all know, today's going to be about the impact of ChatGPT and other large language models on physics research and education. Uh, I'm one of the organizers, along with Josh Burrow. We're both postdocs in the physics department, as well as Mark Vogelsberger, who's a faculty in the physics department, attending online. Um, so I'm going to keep this quick because we have a tight schedule today. Uh, I'm going to briefly just go over the schedule. So this morning, we're going to have a session focused on the computer science underlying large language models. That'll go until 11.50 when we break for lunch. Um, there's going to be an early afternoon session on the use of large language models in research specifically. Um, and then in the late afternoon, we'll have a session on the use of large language models in teaching and administration. Um, there will be two coffee breaks catered by Cafe Luna just outside this room, uh, one during the morning session starting at 10.30, another one in the afternoon session starting at 2.10. Um, and then there are going to be two discussion sessions, one at the end of the morning session and one at the end of the early afternoon session. We originally intended to have three, uh, but uh, we had a change in the schedule at the end of the day because Stephen Wolfram reached out to us a couple days ago asking to give a talk. And so he's actually going to give a talk at the end of the day, and that's going to replace one of the discussion sessions. Um, OK. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, so guidelines for the day I just want to briefly go over is, with the exception of the first and last talks, all the rest of the talks will be 10-minute talks with five minutes of Q&A. We are going to stick to that schedule because we have a packed schedule, and so we will cut people off. Um, if you don't get to ask the question you want for a speaker, there will be more time to ask questions during the discussion sessions. There are also coffee breaks. Uh, you can reach out and directly message people on Zoom, et cetera. Um, and the last thing I want to say uh, before I introduce our first speaker is that this is kind of new material for most of us. And I really want to say thank you to all the speakers who volunteered to talk today, because I would say for over 80% of the speakers, they've probably never talked about this subject before. And so it took some courage to step up and give a talk about it in front of such a large audience. Um, OK, so that's all I have. Uh, so I'm going to stop sharing and uh, hand things over to our first speaker as I introduce him.